You said that there can be no love without hate. So what can we do if there is no hate, when instead one really wants to love? This is a big problem. Wow. It means you need to look for flaws in love, within yourself, that prevent you from loving. Turns out I put these barriers in front of myself, right? Yes. It seems the way I love is just fine. No, it isn't. You have to constantly invest into making love grow, which is not easy. Can this only happen above hatred? Well, something like that, yes. Oh my. Then you and I should be on the verge of great love. Today, during these times... When we reach true hatred, with love being revealed above it, this will, of course, be the great liberation of humanity. An ordinary person does not think this way. He floats along, the current of love, simply living in it. But as soon as he comes in contact with some kind of love, or some kind of a good relationship, he immediately spoils it because he is not ready. He's not set up to handle hatred, rejection, criticism, everything negative, in order to constantly cover it with love. Give us practical advice, if possible. How to cultivate love all the time, or how to maintain it constantly. Share your thoughts, please. Agree to have fights with certain frequency. How so? Just like that? Of course. On schedule? So we're fighting on Friday, right? Let's say. Are you seriously saying this? I'm being completely serious. There can't be one without the other. To tease somehow, to poke a little, something like that. We do it subconsciously anyway. Yes, indeed. It's natural. It is nature itself that pulls us into this, pushing us to develop our connection with one another. And how to say it in control so we don't go off the rails, how not to fall into hatred at the moment. Maintain the right intention. The right goal is connection, embrace, and reproachment. But for the sake of this, we still need to step back a little, look at the other a bit critically. Actually, it's a game. I see. So you are suggesting to take one step back, two steps forward? Uh, something like that, of course. So tell me, please, we were just talking about a married couple. But what about nations or political parties? Everything is arranged in this way. If we properly educate married couples, then societies have it taught in classrooms at schools, something that our teachers still have no grasp of, and at the workplace, then we will constantly be mindful of the times when we should be farther from each other and then get closer, farther and closer. Can we say criticism and rising above criticism? Something like that? Yes, that's right. Do countries follow the same principle of existence? It extends to everything. This is a reciprocal relationship. Does the universe follow the same principle? It all works the same way along with the pulse. The pulse also works this way. Really? Of course. Our heart, our brain, and everything in between works in the same interchanging way. So you're saying that doing so will bring us in sync with nature? Yes. I see. And will love always grow? And connection? You can call one state negative and the other positive, or one and two. Doesn't matter but they must constantly alternate with each other. I see. Like day and night.